Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at some of the store settings information. This is one of the first things that you'll probably do when you get your Evolution store delivered to you. A lot of this stuff is done by us in advance, but it is worth covering on the video so that you can backtrack and change these things. So, store settings information is accessed by clicking on from the admin panel the start button and then store settings manager. First thing we're going to take a look at is the store information tab. So things like template and template style, just leave them, don't touch that information because that's populated from a different part of the website. But you can obviously edit things like your company details, address information, contact information. And then you need to make some choices about where emails for um, orders are going to be sent, returns, customer service emails. So you've got individual controls for all of those. Your website URL, of course your website will be delivered to you under a temporary URL, but that can be replaced by updating this section here. And then the prefix for things like customers, users, orders, returns and contacts. Um, the prefixes are shown in the admin panel when you are navigating any of those sections. And then reward points earned for new customers, so if you would like every registering customer to earn 500 points just for you know, registering on the website, then you can set that up within this section here. Um, beyond that, you've got the store settings tab. Again, most of the values in here are set by default, so there won't probably not be anything for you to do within this section, because all of those defaults are populated by us when the store gets generated. And then the last thing you can do in here is update your store logo. So when you update your store logo, we ask you to make the maximum width of the logo run about 200 pixels. That's about the optimum maximum width. So if you can work within that, it'll make the logo fit nicely on the website. So that's pretty much it in store information, store settings. Not a hell of a lot here to cover. Um, we'll see you again on the next video.